Hey, what is up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about Android Marshmallow 6.0. So we'll be talking about all the main features and also some not so main features. So yeah, let's jump straight right into it. So now first of all, I have done a video on how to install Android Marshmallow developer preview and I will leave the link down below from where you guys can check it out. So yeah, go and check it out and then let's go and take a look at all the new Android Marshmallow features. Now, the very first major feature of Android M is now on tap. Now, what is now on tap? We'll talk about that in a bit. But first of all, Android Marshmallow Developer Preview 3 actually gives you a different animation. So when you activate this, it gives you very really nice uh, white border lines that go all the way around the device. Now, essentially, while you're chatting to a friend and, for example, you have mentioned a restaurant name and you just want to know more about that restaurant, where it is, just activate Google uh, now on tap and now on tap essentially goes go through the chat history of the chat and uh, detects that word picks that word up and searches for it and gives you the direction and some reviews and all that stuff uh, next we've got ourselves app permissions so app permissions are also now changed and different and also we get ourselves a whole new um, in a section of app permissions so here you guys can see which apps got the access to camera photos, contacts, images, all that stuff basically. So you can just access them right from here. Uh, also, it doesn't ask you to enable all the app permissions uh, while you're installing it. It asks you as you need them uh, along the way. And next we also have got app links. Now app links essentially allows you to go directly to the official app of that website. So it makes it easier for the user to handle uh, the, web and the links as well. Now I'm actually very excited to report to you that Android Marshmallow actually improves the patch life quite a bit as well. Uh, it does that by the new dose feature, which basically, uh, so basically when the device is in the idle state, it doesn't do, you know, things like, you know, scanning Wi-Fi and doing syncing jobs and all that stuff. So uh, that actually improves the battery life quite a bit. Now next we've got ourselves is a whole new app drawer. So uh, as you guys can see, you actually go to, gonna have to scroll through uh, to access your apps basically you also get yourself a search bar on the top and also there's a very nice feature. Uh, there's a very subtle effect actually so uh, if you scroll through uh, you know, by, on the right hand side and you actually get that pop effect so whenever you go through the very first app of a new alphabet uh, gives you a, it kind of just pops up and enlarges a little bit it's just a very subtle effect also in Android Marshmallow Developer Preview 3 uh, we get a lot of new wallpapers as well. Uh, so there are some, you know, Android style pattern kind of a things, but then we also get some nature wallpapers as well. And I actually really enjoy it like this uh, pyramid one. Now, this will be talking about the system UI tuner. So if you have that enabled, you guys can see we have that wrench icon on the top right next to the gear icon. Now when you tap and hold it, uh, it basically asks you if you want to remove the system UI tuner, uh, which I don't want to do it. But if you cancel this pop-up message and scroll all the way down in the settings app, you guys can see we have a system UI tuner option. Now over here we get the quick settings and stars for options. So if you go into the quick settings, you guys can see you can change uh, the quick settings position and the toggle positions as well. You can even add a new tile as well. Also, if you go into the status bar, uh, we have the options of disabling um, icons basically so if you don't want to you can hide icons if you don't want bluetooth icon to show up you can simply hide that if you don't want the wi-fi icon to show up you can hide that as well also a new thing is show embedded battery percentage so if you turn that on you guys can see we have that percentage uh, right embedded right within the battery icon uh, it's kind of tiny but uh, you know it's good it's nice all right so in developer preview 2 we actually got uh, memory management as well so as you guys can see we have very nice section of memory usage so it just tells you how much memory is being used every memory is used the total memory memory in that system the free memory right now and then you can also go through uh, app wise as well so it tells you which app is taking the most amount of ram and actually the chrome isn't one uh, chrome actually doesn't take that much at all uh, it's mainly android operating system and google apps actually uh, also, we also have internal storage as well. Uh, so we have the internal storage management as well. You can go through how much storage has been taken up by apps as well. And you can also get a very nice, uh, you know, bar kind of interface which tells you the total app, uh, the total storage and the total storage 
free, which is pretty sweet. So that is pretty much it. Also, as you guys can see, if you go into any app, it allows you to clear the data or even clear the cache. Now, when you take a screenshot, it gets into the goes into the notification sheet. Now you get the option of not only sharing that notification, uh, sorry, that screenshot, but also of deleting it directly from the notification center as well, which is pretty sweet. So guys, that is pretty much it. So this is 6.0 Android Marshmallow. It's a very nice update, and I'm actually really, really looking forward to now on tap, which is still not working uh, in this particular preview, but I'm actually really looking forward to it. Again, there's no Easter egg at all, so again, it gives you that same little thingy right there. Uh, but guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys want to go ahead and get this for your device, uh, make sure you guys check out my tutorial video on that as well. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Share this video. And I'll talk to you guys all in my next one. Peace out.